on the suburb of the capital city, Idu Abuja, Nigeria, lies a world-class institution reputed for global excellence in pharmaceutical research and development. A similar tale of the proverbial phrase, a prophet is sometimes not honored in his own country. In this documentary piece, we will take you on a journey into the exploits of Nigeria's foremost pharmaceutical institution. The National Institute for Pharmaceutical Research and Development, NIPRID, is a federal government agency established on 11th of June 1987 under the Science and Technology Act CAP 276. It became operational in January of 1989. The core mandate of the Institute is to build a center of excellence in research and development of phytomedicines, pharmaceutical and biological products, drugs and diagnostics towards improving the health and well-being of mankind. In addition to undertaking activities relating to capacity building, policy making, data collation, drug distribution and the development of contextual partnerships, that can expedite access to health care. In its over three decades of establishment, NIPRID has demonstrated proven capacity, competence, and indeed the willpower to fulfill its mandate and meet the aspirations of its founding fathers. The mandate of NIPRID essentially is to conduct research into natural products and synthetic ones, you know, for intervention in emerging and contemporary ailments. The thinking behind government in establishing NIPRID was for Nigeria to have a research and development entity that would ensure that uh, processes which are in place to improve access to healthcare for Nigerians and Africans indeed are uh, developed within the country. So that capacity to develop homegrown processes that will improve access to healthcare uh, exists in the country. And then secondly, products that emanate from Nigeria uh, as a means of improving access to healthcare for Nigerians and indeed Africans are also uh, developed in country. The rich human resources available at NIPRID underscores its strength and capacity for quality pharmaceutical research. These personnel are spread in the five technical departments of the institution and its allied units to guarantee efficiency. We have somewhere close to 70, 75 masters and PhDs, all aggregated in the entire value chain that exists for development of uh, drugs and phytomedicines. And so those uh, capacities are aggregated in five 
technical departments. So you have the medicinal plant research and traditional medicine department. You have the pharmacology and toxicology department. You have the pharmaceutical chemistry and quality control department. You have the pharmaceutical technology and raw materials development department. And then you have the microbiology and uh, biotechnology department. So these are the five uh, technical departments that uh, currently exist. And as you can see, it covers the entire spectrum of, uh, of uh, 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 drug development and phytomedicinal development. Nipread is one of its kind in the entire African continent. And why the African Network for Drugs and Diagnostics Innovation, ANDI, in 2011, designated it as a center of excellence in the African sub-region in research and development of drugs, vaccines, phytomedicines, and diagnostics towards improving the health and well-being of Nigerians and mankind. One of NIPRIT's success stories is the breakthrough in its adoption of nanotechnology in medicine, a new frontier in medical research that has put NIPRIT on the global map of excellence and indeed a force to be reckoned with among pharmaceutical research organizations around the world. This institute, in effect, started a uh, dev into the area of nanotechnology in June 2012. And within these eight years, we have risen to be a center to be reckoned with globally. We developed a nano uh, drug delivery system, got it patented. It was the first patent of a nano drug delivery system in Nigeria uh, for the management of diabetes mellitus and that gave won an award so th yes this institute won a who and the award in that respect and since then we have been cruising herbs and its extracts are the center of africa's traditional medicine nipred has devoted years of studies to establish empirical data on the diversity, variants, and potencies of indigenous plants as drugs for ailments and diseases bedeviling our people. Herbs have been useful to humanity for ages, and um, especially in our part of the world, it is a critical part of the healthcare system, whether acknowledged as such or not, because a number of our people, especially in the rural areas, uh, depend on herbs as their first line treatments uh, for most ailments and it has sustained them. This is the backbone of the Institute. Every activity that goes on in the Institute starts from this very department. You will not want to start drug discovery without information, without a lead. So what the Ethnobotany Unit does is go out, get the information, the lead for you to start. I think our institute was one of the first who domesticated the Antemisia Anwa when it was brought from China. We domesticated it and from there, we're able to extract Antemisinin in this very lab from that Antemisia Anwa in Nigeria for the first time. The major concerns when it comes to herbal medicines are those of dosage and solubility. A number of medical researchers have expressed reservations on the use of herbal medicines as cure for diseases and ailments, owing to rising incidences of complications because of non-solubility and unspecified dosage. These problems have been addressed effectively by NIPRID using nanotechnology, thereby making herbal products safer for medical consumption. We eventually standardize those doses so that it comes down to a language that the consumer can more easily understand 
So instead of saying a pinch, uh, a pinch would depend on the size of my finger, the size of your finger, how strong you are feeling at the point at which you are pinching. I'm able to now, uh, from the kind of work that Nightbreed does, it will now, a pinch becomes half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. So that is essentially one area in which Nightbreed has added value to herbal medicines in terms of dosing. From the lab here, we also have to ensure that this product will be soluble in water and then when it gets to the stomach, it should now release the drug and the drug should be able to go into the blood. So you see the challenge. So these are the challenges we tend to solve on the bench in the laboratory. As a center of excellence in pharmaceutical research, quality control is key to the activities and outcomes of NIPRID. This guarantees the veracity of its researches as reference and guide to drug manufacturers, policymakers, and the academia. Primarily, we carry out qualitative and quantitative assay of drugs. By this, I mean that I'll give you an, as an example. You give us paracetamol and you say to us, this paracetamol is claimed to have 500 milligrams of active principle in it. And, but you don't know, you bring it here. We, we, what we do is we take it through the process through some very standard procedures, you know, using official methods. And we determine that really, is it up to that 500 milligram that is claimed to be or is it less? Or, so some of these tests are very helpful in making health policy statements. In line with its mandate of developing phytomedicines, drugs, biological products, and diagnostics in improving health and well-being of Nigerians, NIPRID has played a critical role in providing interventions to some national health challenges such as sickle cell anemia, malaria, Ebola, among others, and more recently, the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. So NIPRID historically was uh, the first uh, agency of its type in this part of the world to develop um, a phytomedicine, an anti-cycling phytomedicine from drug discovery all the way to phase two, phase three clinical trials. Uh, that particular product, Niprisan, uh, was world acknowledged and uh, uh, I, I, our, our research shows that it's in use in over 40 countries across the world. So that put NIPRID's uh, stamp, you know, on phytomedicinal research. Within these few years, we've been able to develop product for malaria. We call it, we have filed patent for it. We call it MAFOMA, which is um, a nanotechnology engineered plant pills for the treatment of, of malaria. We also have a product that, it is the first herbal product that has received uh, attention from the tertiary education trust fund. So in the area of nanotechnology, these are uh, the things we have done and the products that we have developed, proof of concept established, prototypes developed, and clinical trial is about to commence and the uh, limited funding for um, the early phase trials is also uh, available. The quality of research by NIPRID and its adherents to global best practices have not gone unnoticed. It has earned numerous certifications, both locally and internationally, reinforcing its status as a center of excellence in research and development of drugs, vaccines, phytomedicines, and diagnostics. NIPRID is the only academic-based research institution that has ISO 17025 certification in Africa. What it means is that for every test or an assessment or an activity that we carry out in this laboratory, at least 180 other countries do not ask questions because about 186 countries, and it's tending towards 200 now because many countries want to join, do exactly the same thing. If you take a product from 
if, you, if we do a particular test on our product in this laboratory, for those other 185 countries, it, they don't need to talk to us, they will do it exactly the, same, the way we have done it. When we developed our product for sickle cell, which we call it today Niklovix, because it's been licensed to an indigenous uh, company. It was the first herbal product to be given a status of a drug by the Food and Drug Administration of the United States of America, FDA. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we also had a cause to be assessed for re-certification. NIPRI got the re-certification for the third time, and that's the current certification we had on hand. And that has certainly been very useful because we have tested a lot of commodities, both for local industries and even international organizations. of these achievements, in the last three decades of its establishment, the institution has suffered what some analysts have described as lack of prioritization. This is further exacerbated by poor funding required of a research institution the size of Nyperud. The year I, was, I took office, which was 2018, I think we had uh, just about 250 million as our capital vote for research. 250 million is, is less than $500,000. Research institutes of our, of our types in other parts of the world talk about hundreds of millions of dollars for their research, as you're aware, for just Operation Warp Speed, which uh, the immediate past president of America put forward for research and manufacturing of vaccines, that, that particular funding pool was, over, was around $100 billion. Uh, $100 billion. So you can imagine what $500,000 is, is a drop in the ocean. This uh, board is looking at uh, structured funding that will be able to bring good inflow of funds into the place. The current scenario is that um, there is this envelope system. Irrespective of whatever you purpose that you want to do and you want the funding that you need, there is a sealed envelope which comes to you. Since his assumption of office in 2018, however, the Director General of NIPRID, Dr. Obi Adigwe, have engaged with key government agencies, individuals, and partners to improve funding and support to the institution. Since my appointment, I've reached out to close to 70 DGs, CEOs, presidents, and other heads of agencies that uh, have potentially overlapping mandates with NIPRIT. So I engage people in the National Assembly. I, I in fact, one of my best meetings was with the Speaker of the House of Reps. So as a result of that, as well as support from the executive and some uh, key thought leaders in the presidency, we saw a two-fold increase in our capital budget. Additionally, we were prior prioritized when uh, the COVID uh, releases began. And so on the government side, that's a step 
in the right direction. It's nowhere enough what we need to do our work, but it's a step, it's a big step in the right direction. Strategic collaborations and support from national and international organizations are vital to provide the required funding for research. One of such is the Japanese government support to NIPRID in expanding its nanotechnology capabilities. Uh, the Indian government gave me close to 10 slots to train uh, my staff uh, abroad uh, at no cost to NIPRID. As I speak to you, we're, we've, we've received equipment from the Japanese government worth close to 6 billion naira. Uh, for the establishment of what I would say is Africa's premier nanomedicine uh, laboratory. Our activities in nanotechnology in medicine uh, go to the, uh, what I call the current climax uh, of winning a, an international grant uh, from the Japanese uh, government, which is um, worth um, about 5.88 billion naira, and it is uh, directed towards developing nanopharmaceuticals uh, for malaria, tuberculosis and diabetes uh, mellitus. While international supports of this nature are critical, the most enduring and sustainable funding model for research development is a national and private sector-driven initiative. This will guarantee national health security and promote indigenous and efficient health solutions. This board also elected to look into the aspect of uh, the private sector funding coming to NIPRID. Uh, somebody can decide to say, I'm giving this endowment with respect to cancer research. And before you know it, something will come out. It could be multi-drug resistant uh, uh, strains of a bacteria. I'm giving this donation for that purpose. And that is where an opportunity lies for Nigerian and African institutions to step in. Because the Niprisan that we developed and has been used for millions of blacks and Africans across the world as, as the world's premier phytomedicine for sickle cell anemia is not being used by only the Adigues of this world. It is used by all Africans and all black people that are plagued with sickle cell anemia. And so those philanthropists, those development partners, those funding agencies, those institutions that call themselves Africans need to step up to the plate and fund NIPRIC, who has the capacity to bring out research that for, for diseases that plague our people using resources that emerges from our land. The NIPRIX consultancy unit is strategically positioned to render services to research and development community, as well as interface with industry players. The idea is to ensure that research products and services can be uptake by the industry, provide feedback linkages, and boost revenue generation for the institution. We've done a lot in the area of pharmaceutical drug testing uh, for the pharmaceutical sector. Uh, recently, we handled some samples from Enzo Pharmaceuticals, uh, for instance, and then uh, we've also handled for other organizations as well. We have specialized laboratories uh, spanning from medicinal chemistry and quality control. We have laboratory in raw material development and these laboratories are specialized in various forms. As a Nigerian research institution with a pan-African outlook, NIPRID has been integral to the conversation on maximizing the potentials of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, especially in an era when the global dynamics of pharmaceuticals have gone beyond consumption to include production, access, and costs. The Director General of NIPRID, Dr. Obi Adigwe, was in Addis Ababa in 2019 to advance Nigeria's position in the emerging singular market framework for the continent. 
in terms of uh, number of manufacturers were up there. In terms of the quality uh, of, of medicines that we produce, we're also uh, right in front. Uh, my institute uh, was the first that, uh, one of the first that got its ISO 9001 as well as ISO 17025. And uh, these are uh, very, very, um, these are very, very well respected international certifications. We're also one of the first to sustainably, sustainably transit to ISO 17025 version 2017. Uh, so, you know, these are some of the advantages that the Nigerian pharma sector has currently. It is without a doubt that NIPRID, under the current leadership, is headed in the right direction. Given the needed prioritization and adequate funding, it is on track in fulfilling the dream of its founding fathers of becoming a true center of excellence for pharmaceutical research and development in Nigeria and indeed the entire African continent. Thank you.